The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is here and it's a big thing. And it's not because of the performance increases, because there are some. But as you can see here on the screen, Snapdragon Qualcomm themselves are calling it 8 Gen AI and not really only 8 Gen 3. So the most and the biggest advancements in this next mobile SoC provided by Qualcomm are AI and AI is very key. You know what Google is doing with the Tensor and with everything around this. So in this video, I'm gonna focus on the main things that this chip will bring. Let's review them together with you and let's understand why this will have an impact on everything else. Google are pushing AI, we have Bart. We have also companies like ChatGPT, they're pushing AI. Apple is trying to also be smart. So the next new thing is gonna be like, how smart are all of those phones? You can see here the Gen 3, the Gen AI, but then the question that I have is like, how smart can those phones be or those chips without internet connection, which we know could or can be a bit problematic, for example, in Google 8. So let's watch this video together and understand what are the next advancements. And this is gonna be very exciting, guys. I'm not gonna cover performance increases. That's boring because AI is probably a bit more fun. Let's start. Here we have it, guys. It's not Gen three, it's also Gen AI. I'm your own device AI assistant. So they're already making a reference that this SOC is able to generate text, right? Um, I think this is not something that it's unseen, but it's gonna get even more interesting. Keep watching. Generate an image of something you just put a text. This SOC AI capabilities will also allow it to speak to us and also turn text into images, which reminds us on what, like DALI? So it combines some traditional chat GPT text AI style with some new, even 3D drawing whatsoever. Video object eraser, guys. Now, Google premiered some years ago the photo object eraser, and actually even Samsung are doing this right now very quickly. But video object eraser, okay, this is really promising. Night vision, remember? Google said that the Pixel 8 lineup will get night vision, but this is a feature that we still don't have on our pixels and a feature that will require you to process your video through the Google data centers, meaning Google Photos, to get it done. So what I'm saying is it's not on device. You require a device with an active connection. And I had the Pixel 8 Pro. I tested it myself. Some features like the best take was not available the first day. Then also when I tried to do some of the nice AI editing, it required for me to have a permanent internet connection which means that it's not really so much on device. And the Gen 3 or the Gen AI promises us to do these things offline, meaning no internet connection, like purely because all the AI and ML stuff built in the chip. Next gen lighting effects. I mean, we have ray tracing. Why not have also something in regards to lighting? This is going to be wow. I mean, with the powerful GPU there, most probably going to be one of the best gaming platforms based on Agent 3. And not to mention the performance, guys. We already know there's going to be some increases in terms of CPU and GPU power. So the 8 Gen 3 or 8 Gen AI is not only going to be smarter, but also more powerful than the predecessor. I can only tell you that my hands are itching already. I want to have a device with the 8 Gen 3 or AI, and this is probably going to be the Xiaomi 14 Gen 3 Gen AI. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really think that this is going to change the industry or continue to change Google started and try to bring this more like from off device to on device, which is going to be great. Thanks again, VST. Stay safe.